Good day, children. Today, we're going to have a new lesson that you will surely have fun with. And the title of our lesson for today is Reading and Writing Numbers Up to 100 in Symbols and in Words. And this will be our learning target for today. I can read and write numbers from 0 to 100. And for us to remember everything that we already discussed, let us have our review through our flashcards. So, let us count the following objects and write on your whiteboards the correct number. So, how many dolls do you see? And the answer is... Very good. Four. Now, how many teddy bears do you see? Yes, the answer is six. How many cars do you see? And the answer is seven. And how many blocks do you see? The answer is ten. And how many blocks do you see? And the answer is 12. Great job! Now, let's have some recall of the things that we already discussed. So, when we count, we can use things like blocks, especially if it is more than 10. So, we may use these blocks. And remember that one block is equivalent to one unit. And one long is equivalent to 10 blocks. And one flat is equivalent to 100 blocks. There. Now, we may read and write numbers this way. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But please remember the numbers here, the numerical symbol and the number words from 1 to 9. Yes. Because we're going to need them especially when we are already reading and counting numbers that are already more than 10. So, but to make it easier for us to read and write numbers that are already more than 10, let us please remember our skip counting by 10. So there, we have your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, up to 100. And then, when we are already more than 10, we can just use the numbers from 1 to 9 so that we can make 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, until we reach 20. And we will follow just the same patter pattern that we already did. So there. So with 20, we also do the same thing. Like 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on until we reach 30. And then we just do the same thing. Just do the same pattern. So we can also use our pattern and skip counting by 10 to make it easier for us to read and write numbers and their number words. Now, these are the examples. So, we have here 10 and 4 is 14 or 14. We have here 20 and 7 is 27 or 27. And we have here 30 and 6. It is 36 or 36. And now, we may look at the numbers that are already more than 10. So, we may start with 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then, we will now go to 20. So there. And then, we will start with 21. So there. There's the pattern. 1, 2, 3, 4. But then, we read them as 21. So between 20 and 1, 
there's a line and we call it a dash. Then after 21, there's 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then we will go to 30. Then there's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. And then we will go to 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and then it's already 60. So we'll have 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. We have 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and the last one will be, of course, 100. There. So, now, remember, we can read and write numbers both in symbols and in words. And, We can also use our pattern in skip counting by 10 to make it easier for us to write and read numbers and their number words. So now let's exercise our brains. Now, let us identify the number word for the following numerical symbols. So we have here this numerical symbol. So what is this? Is it 26, 36, or 46? And the answer is 26. Good. Next, what is this numerical symbol? Is this 22, 32, or 42? And the answer is, great, it's 32. Next, 45. What is this? Is it 35, 45, or 55? And the answer is, 45. Great. And what is this numerical symbol? We have here 33, 43, or 53. And the answer is 53. Great job! Now you already know how to read and write numbers from 0 to 100.